I have been able to get a free backlink from a website. It's a low comp, but still a backlink. She asked if she could contribute the article to my website as in my, she asked if she contribute the article as in my given name. What's the pros and the cons of writing website pseudonym name? Those are the blog owner's name. Um, I would just say, the best thing to do would be to use this use a name that's associated with the website. Like you have some kind of name that's associated with your website. And if they if they absolutely have to credit you for the link and you know have an author box or whatever, I'm pretty sure that's what he's talking about. Is that right, Nick? I would think so. Yeah. To you? Okay. Just that's how sure. I read it. It's a little confused by it. So let us know yeah. if we're getting the question wrong, Kim. But um yeah, so if basically you want you want some kind of like name associated with the website, some kind of author name. It doesn't I don't I don't really care what the name is. It just like have some kind of name. It, it, I'm gonna use a fancy word here. Don't, no one hurt me, but it, you know it becomes an entity associated with your domain. It's just a noun, a word that Google sees a lot that's associated with your with that website. So for Sir Links a lot, you know. Nicholas, Nick Altamore and my name, Chris Jesus, are, are two entities that are associated with it. And then Google knows right. they're all kind of connected and whatnot. Um, so you, yeah, use, use whatever is associated with uh, the domain if possible instead of some just like random name or whatever. Um, I'm, I'm still wondering if I'm getting the question wrong though. I mean, let me see, let's see if Kim has said anything. Well, so... No. Let me let me reread that real quick. Because I've been able to get a free backlink from so a website. So I think account. what it is is that she wants her name as the contributing author. His name. Right? So she's saying she'll oh. write the article. She'll give it to Kim. Kim has to put it up, but saying that that person is the author. Um, let us know if that's accurate. But she says she asked if she could contribute the article to my website as in right. my given name. Oh, what's well, the, what's I mean, the pros and cons of writing in the website's pseudonym name as opposed to the blog owner's name? Oh, so do you have maybe a different name that's associated with the posts going up on a blog and she's saying, no, it has to be your name? That's weird for someone to demand. Yeah, I'd be like, why? Um, <laughs> the, you know, I, if it's not the way you do things then don't be fearful of saying, hey, that's just not the way we, we do things it, over it's here. It's a really right? weird thing to, to demand. And if you, if you don't want your name being on there, especially as an affiliate marketer, it makes sense. Um, there are plenty of reasons why you wouldn't want your name to be searchable, right, in SERPs that might get um, an asset that you own to pop up there. Um, so, yeah, that is a strange thing to ask for. But yeah, Kim, if you're still around, let us know because a little, little confused by some of the some of the language in the question, kind of. But I guess all in all, does it really matter? No. The only the only thing that does matter is that people can look up your name in the SERPs and then it could pop up that money site, right? And associate it with who you are, what you do, etc. Um, which as an affiliate marketer, typically we don't want to be found that way. Um, outside of that. Um, you know, does it really matter? Is it going to affect things? Um, I don't, I don't really think so. Um, it'd be interesting to know, and this is just something that I'm kind of thinking up, uh, whether, um, you know, contributing authors that have been associated with a domain, um, have some sort of like, quote, more power in the SERPs due to their age. Um, but I, I don't know, and I imagine it'd be pretty negligible in comparison to the overall authority of the website that that article is going on. Um, and the reason I would assume that is because you can imagine large websites that have new employees uh, that get hired on and off, et cetera, um, more frequently, um, you know, you'd see these contributing author pages change. So, um, you know, that's kind of how I would base uh, my assumption or my hypothesis on that. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the links below for more info on this topic, as well as other cool stuff like SEO case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking.